Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. In today's episode, kind of a unique thing, we're going to talk about every single team change that's happened in the past week and a half. If you guys are one of the viewers who somehow was on vacation or away somewhere for the last 7 to 10 days, you have missed probably the biggest roster shuffle of all time in CSGO. We're going to talk about every single team change, guys, and of course, everything you need to read will be linked down below to confirm all of this news. We're going to start with the small stuff and with the big stuff, so hope you guys all enjoy this short, concise video talking about all the brand new CSGO teams so far for 2018. Let's start with the small change, guys. Of course, we had Team Heroic add Rubino in place of their existing member Easy Tag. Easy Tag was kind of a rising Danish talent the past year or so, coming from Trick Esports to Heroic. He didn't live, apparently not live up to the hype though, and he'll be replaced by Rubino on that starting Heroic roster. And also, in other surprising news, we had LDLC replace one of their more experienced members, of course, known as Existence, a very well-known name in the French scene. He'll be replaced for the time being by another French player known as Logan. And yes, Existence will still be searching for offers out there, and I'm sure he'll land on some other team in the French scene, at least hopefully. Now, on top of that and kind of uh, shocking news as well we also had renegade sign jakeem for a, a trial member in a stand-in period of time which should be for a couple of months for iem katavice and other tournaments jakeem i say is a bit of a surprise because it was actually rumored by decay and other journalists out there that renegades was actually looking into optic hs of course hs and everyone else in the optic roster was released as well and apparently that deal did fall through and renegades has added jakeem for a small amount of time now of course in our first big roster change news uh, i think it was about a week ago we had envious actually dropped two of their members that was xms the former ldlc guy and alongside them their opera sixer have both been dropped from the roster they've also picked up one of their academy members that will actually be, of course be haji haji will take over at least some of the primary opting roles from sixer a lot of french fans happy about that and on top of that of course everyone's happy about that the problem himself has returned the notorious kiyoshima actually joins back up with the mvs roster with a brand new roster on screen for all of you and that was in very exciting news and also in very shocking news but started a lot of other roster changes out there a lot of other rumors out there we had North part ways with two of their members, that being Config and Cajun B, stepping down out of nowhere. They've also acquired one of their academy members. Is this one of the first times in CSGO history we've actually seen teams take advantage of their academy teams? They pick up their academy member Mertz, and alongside that, they actually pick up Astralis Kierby to finalize that North roster on screen. So that was, of course, kind of crazy news when we saw Config and Cajun B leave that roster. We knew there's going to be a big roster change out there. On top of that, guys, also bouncing off that, we did have, of course, Nafly join Liquid in place of JDM. This is a big change as well, and of course, me being an idiot, guys, it will not be Nafly uh, primary opping. He probably will be their secondary opper, and Nitro of Team Liquid will actually take over the primary opping roles. It does seem, though, for the time being, guys, that I am Katowice this coming weekend. They'll have JDM on that lineup, and after that, guys, it will be Nafly from Renegades. Of course, Renegades replacing him with Jakeem. He'll be joining the Team Liquid permanently, guys, and that will be Nafly on that roster, and that was in crazy news. All these Optic guys involved in these changes has been crazy to see. Bouncing off that, though, as well, we did see, of course, in big news, Virtus Pro officially benched Taz, who I do not think will play for Virtus Pro in the future. People out there seem to think he's on the bench. He'll be playing for them maybe if he comes back one day. I really think he'll come back to some other Polish squad out there, some other big team, some other big name team. We're going to see what happens though. And he was of course replaced in a big, I guess you could say a big loan buyout. We're not really sure how much they paid for a one month loan of Kingwin member Mihu, and he'll be that on that new roster as well. Going to be exciting to see what this Virtus Pro roster does until March, where the, of course, if you guys missed this as well, Virtus Pro CEO himself said in March they'll make more announcements to the team roster if things probably do not improve we can expect other changes happening to Virtus Pro. Now on top of that of course we also saw bouncing off this Astralis did indeed bench Config but they picked up probably maybe a more powerful player and that of course was Magus from Optic Gaming so that's gonna be your final Astralis roster on top of that guys a very powerful roster nonetheless guys we're gonna see what happens though with all these changes of course many of these players have played together in the past we're gonna see what happens though with that new Astralis lineup and very big news of course I talked about this in yesterday's episode optic gaming somehow do the impossible they replaced their entire csgo roster with zero leaks no one saw this coming and everyone thought maybe dennis would join them maybe they'll pick up a few players here and there maybe they'll drop one or two they dropped all five players guys that was magis hs freiburg alu everyone on the team is now gone guys and they've brought in a whole new danish majority roster and they will be for clarification for all of you guys i did mess it up i wasn't aware of new esl pro league rules they will still get to compete in the north american esl pro league spot as you guys can see by tweets on screen by some of their newer members, Config being one of them. He can't wait to enjoy KFC Chicken in North America. And yes, because the organization will have these players living in North America, they will retain their North American ESL Pro League spot. So with this Danish, Danish majority, of course, you do have uh, Config and Cajun B formerly playing on North together. Of course, Gade, the North Academy member. And on top of that, guys, we do have Shazam and Stanislaw joining this Optic roster. And the North American side of Pro League, that's a very powerful roster, and I do expect them to go top half. Although, you guys got to keep in mind, 
tonight. This is the first time they've ever played together in any kind of tournament setting, any kind of online setting at all. So it could be a rough start for Optic Gaming, but the, the fact is this, they're in the North American side of Pro League. I do expect a lot out of them, and that's a very, very shocking roster, guys. Optic replaced everybody, and oh man, that was just in shocking news. And also some smaller CSGO news and roster changes that I did miss out on, guys, and please comment down below anything else that I missed. I'm going to try and summarize all the big stuff for now, so if it's super small, I probably did miss it, guys, but currently what I've summarized so far involves almost 30 plus players, also almost 10 plus teams. It was pretty crazy to see the big, biggest shuffle of all time in CSGO, so it's been a great, crazy week for the channel. On top of that, guys, we also had Team Big remove Legia from their lineup as well as benching Keeve. They have currently not filled their entire roster so far, although word is on the street they're looking into trial members right now, and of course, I'm sure they'll sign a, they'll sign a big brand new roster sometime soon and finalize uh, the, the three-man squad should be finalized sometime soon. Also on top of that, and should be lastly for now, we have do a Dignitas signing an entire new roster. Dignitas, of course, released those former guys like J. Keem, Rubino, I think it was also Fox, formerly of that team, and people thought they might be done with CSGO for good, and apparently they are not, they are not guys. They're actually moving back to North America. They have now signed the entire SOAR gaming roster. I'll talk about that probably in tomorrow's video, which is going to be a packed episode of some other dramatic stories out there, guys. SOAR gaming, that entire roster, have actually qualified for ESL Pro League. That will now go to Dignitas, and that roster will now participate for the first time ever in the North American side of Pro League, guys. Best of luck to them. Definitely a questionable roster, and we'll talk more about them in the future, guys. But that was in big news. Soar Gaming has acquired their entire roster by Team Dignitas. As always, that's going to do it for today's episode of CSK News. Hope you guys all enjoy. Please leave a comment down below. I will see you all tomorrow with a packed episode of news. Hope you guys all enjoy. As always, my name is Jake Murray, like you, and uh, goodbye, guys. Mix well.